Hey girlfriend, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kobe. If you're not, welcome back, hey girlfriend. So I'm back in Dallas. I've been back for about two days. Um, I stopped vlogging after I got back to Nashville from Gatlinburg because I really just wanted to be present in the moment with my family. Um, I don't get to see everyone that I got to see a lot. And so I just wanted that time to relax and enjoy my break. Like I'm on break from work so I wanted to enjoy it um and not have to work so much but I since I've been back I have been busy I'm currently about to start cleaning up my apartment but I have been busy I made two TikToks the first two days I was here and I just posted one on TikTok and I tried to post it on Instagram but they're copywriting the music over and over again so I just deleted it so if you want to see it check it out on TikTok it's right Right here by now i have so many more i also i personally really love watching the day in the life tiktoks like those are my favorite and i try to do a day in the life video on instagram i mean instagram on youtube once a month on days or weekends that i have a lot to do because there's some days where all i do is work i don't do anything else um and so like if i have an event to go to or if i'm going to go to the grocery store or go hang out with my friends something i just like to have something else in there so don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell your friend to tell their friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of their girlfriends <laughs> So my cousin is coming on Thursday. She's coming for New Year's and so she'll be here so that I wanted to start the vlog today because she'll be here. I have, I do have a work meeting tomorrow so I probably won't vlog tomorrow but Thursday she'll be here so and she requested that I do a vlog. I have so much cleaning to do. I have two suitcases to unpack. I had stuff that I couldn't even bring back so my mom had to ship it to me yesterday. My uh, kitchen is just, I just need to put up uh, dishes and then reload the dishwasher I got an Alexa um I'll show you guys so I got this bad boy for Christmas and she's already scared me <laughs> she's only been up for a day and she's already scared me but yeah I also came home to three packages of skincare so I wanted to show you guys um these so good molecules sent me some skincare they sent me their discoloration serum brightening toner clarifying or cleansing balm and a priming moisturizer and i had a really shitty day yesterday like yesterday sucked yesterday afternoon and i filmed a day in my life which was like couldn't have gone any worse but so i said today after i get done cleaning up and working out because i need to but i'm really sore i'm going to do my makeup and go take pictures on our rooftop and so hopefully i can get that done today if i don't get it done i'll get it done tomorrow oh got my hair braided while i was in nashville i got it done by courtney salon's called the braid addict and i'll link it in the description super duper sweet super affordable she's really fast i got the medium braids schmedium box braids um with two colors um and it only took four hours so she's super duper fast excuse me great conversation um and she just has like a salon suite so it's just you and her um and i think the salon suite's in madison if you live in tennessee but or nashville but i think the salon suite is only black people like i only saw black people when i was in there i love it i love going to the hair salon when it's a whole bunch of black people that's like my favorite thing the way i did it is she offers two free colors and so that's why i got blonde and black and yeah it's my hair but i need to get cotton swabs so i'm all over the place I'm sorry I need a new coffee kettle I mean a new tea kettle and I want an electric one and I've been wanting the one by Drew Barrymore at Walmart and so I drove over to Walmart this morning and go get it and it was out of stock so I ordered it in the parking lot and I'm gonna go pick it up at 2 30 so jokes on you Walmart but um, I also need to get cotton swabs and crap I was supposed to do that yesterday when I was at the CVS damn it i just be forgetting so i need to get cotton swabs so that i can use this brightening toner and all my toners i have like four that i've been wanting to use but doesn't this look so cute sorry i'm talking a lot i'm gonna hurry up so you guys can see all of the products 
They sell good molecules at Target, so I'll leave the links for all of this skincare down below if you guys want to try it. Um, I've never tried uh, the two, these first two brands. I've only tried the last one. And then she says bar soap. So then Burst also sent me some stuff. This is their overnight facial peel. I need to get so, after I came home and I looked at my uh, bathroom counter, I was like, I need so much storage stuff. So when I get back from Florida or maybe even while I'm in Florida, I'm going to go ham on Amazon. I need so much stuff. But this is their peel and I just really like their packaging. I think it looks really cool. I like the mauve colors. And then they sent me a lip oil that I've already been using. Let me just go get it. Okay, so they sent me, this is the lip oil. It's the Silk Slip Conditioning Oil. And I really like this. I've been using it um, the past two days. This is the Wash It Out Gel Cleanser from Burst. I used this this morning. This is their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I really like cleansing balms. If you wear, you can use them every day and not when you wear makeup, but I personally think they're great if you do wear a lot of makeup. So if you've ever seen any of my makeup tutorials when I first started my channel, which I'm going to film a makeup tutorial soon. And then this is their Skin Soak Rich Moisturizing Cream. I use this night and day. This is the best moisturizer I've put on my face in a long time. Really do like this. And so far, out of all of the things, out of just what I've said, because I've only used a few, like I said, I haven't used any good molecule stuff yet, but I will be using it today. Um, I will be repurchasing these or I will be purchasing them because they sent all this stuff to me so I will purchase these two because they're my fave so far oh and they also sent me this headband to push my hair back which cute so then La Roche Posay sent me some more stuff you guys know I worked with them a few months ago I have a reel on my channel um, that I did for them I'll leave that link down below as well um, this is the Lipicare wash. This is for eczema. If you don't know, I have eczema. This is the soothing relief cream, which is cooling on your skin, and I really like it. This is the thermal spring water spray. If you don't get anything from La Roche Posay, you have to get this spring water. It is so good, so good on my face. I this is I already have these three, and. I was already gonna repurchase this because I use it twice a day, multiple times a day. Um, this is their um, soothing multi-purpose balm, just another bar of soap. And then this is their double repair face moisturizer. I like this package, like the way it's shaped. I like that. And then last thing is their dermo cleanser. So your girl is stocked with moisturizers and cleansers and so I really want to do a shower routine video because last night I was taking a shower and I was like, I do a lot of stuff while I'm in here. So I really want to do one of those along with um, just kind of going through my skincare. I kind of just want to, because I have so much skincare. And what's crazy is that I only have skincare from a few select brands. So Dermalogica, if you don't know, I'm addicted. I have almost... Not almost everything but I have a good amount of stuff from them so Dermalogica and I'm just looking in my bathroom now Dermalogica Rodin and Fields they sent me a huge PR package um, and Dermalogica Rodin and Fields and Liquid IV were the first three brands to ever send me PR packages the way Rodin and Fields does PR those girls got it they sent me this huge huge box and it had a video screen everything was so nice and so i'm still using those products my mom used them while i was at home and she really enjoyed them too so those two for sure um neutrogena because i just love the um i love the cleanser that they have it's my favorite um it's like my favorite affordable like drugstore um i have some fresh uh, moisturizers for day and night um what else and then good molecules versed and la roche posay so i really just kind of want to go through all my skincare the amount of stuff i have from dermalogica is crazy crazy and you know they really f with the girl because i've only ever bought two things from them started working with them when i was still in nashville and we've just had a great partnership ever since Always Jackie Ina put me on a long time ago and I've always wanted 
to just try all of their stuff. I never even knew that they worked with small influencers or micro influencers. When they reached out to me, I was like, whatever you want, whatever you want, I'll give it to you because I love your stuff. So yeah, so I'm about to clean all of this up and everything. I've got to go back to Wally World at 2.30 to pick up my kettle and then I'll unbox it here on the vlog. Have you ever wondered why there's always pigeons in Walmart's parking lot? I was talking to my best friend about that this morning. You never see pigeons in Target's parking lot. Just saying. Hey vlog, so today is December, is it the 29th? It's the 30th. <laughs> Today's December 30th, it's Thursday. My cousin is here, I told you guys she was coming in town. She's here, she almost missed her flight. But you know, we, ma <laughs> we made it. So I have a package that I wanna show you guys. I have a whole story to talk about the tea kettle from Walmart. Walmart played me, okay, but it's on its way, Walmart. I figured it out and it's on its way. It'll be here tomorrow. Okay, I got another package and um, from a brand that I really love. I worked with them last year. They sent me some stuff. Um, it's, it's a food company, so I will open that box here in a second. But we're going to happy hour tonight at 4 at Moxie's in Uptown. And so we've got to get ready and we're going to take some celebratory. We're here popping bottles, shots. So um, we're going to kind of keep it low key for New Year's. It's not going to be anything too crazy, but we definitely wanted to do happy hour. Cause that's like a rite of passage i feel like everyone should do a happy hour and we're going at like not a busy time on a thursday so and we both me and my cousin are bitching and boosted so yeah so i don't like respisado tequila but that's all we got <laughs> so this is my cousin bought this my other cousin that's they're actually moving here so we got a lot of life updates we gotta give on a sit down video makeup tutorial coming soon my cousin bought this when he was here and apparently they like it it's gluten-free i don't care about none of that but um it's made with agave it's 40 percent small batch tequila reposado so that's what that's the shot we're gonna take here are my shot glasses they have k's on them and so i only like freezing cold tequila so with tequila chilled it's only like only way i like to take tequila shots when i do take them um whoa 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 got a little out of hand there put some of that back and then here's the salt so there's that we'll get to that in a second and now i'm going to open up this box okay so the box the package is from good stock and this is one of my favorite soup companies um they sent me carrot and ginger soup chicken and vegetable soup a loaded baked potato soup red bean and chickpea chili roasted mushroom soup roasted um tomato soup and then i have it looks like i have a coupon for you guys to try too my two favorites are the roasted roasted mushroom and roasted tomato they're so good like how cute are these how cute are these um and so this is the roasted mushroom and then they have vegetarian and vegan options. I think also gluten free as well. I'll leave the link for the I'll leave the link for the soups down below. And if they sent me if they sent me a coupon code, I'll also put that down there. I just gotta find it. <laughs> okay, we're running late, of course, but this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing the black bodysuit that I always wear from Shein. My mom jeans are from Pretty Little Things, and then I'm wearing these gold um, little booties from Forever 21. They're super old. And then my Gucci purse, so that's what we've got going on tonight. We'll see you guys at the restaurant. Number one, my number one. I won't stop until I see you, sugar. You know who you are. This is for my number I see you. one. Morning vlog. <laughs> Uh, so last night, oh, this one's open already. Okay, so last night we went to Moxie's and we had a good time. What? Oh, I thought my braid was in my sure. necklace. We had a great time. Oh, and we've got a mimosa. Cheers. Cheers. So, 
That's good. Wish I would have got some strawberries. I didn't think about that. Okay. I'm gonna do some more champagne anyways. <laughs> we might have to take yeah. the Man, Yeah, and we need grocery bags. Back to what I was saying. Went for happy hour. It was really good. We both got we got the pot stickers, the beef or the pork pot stickers, and the bruschetta as appetizer. It was really good. And then we got um, we both just shared the salmon salad, salmon avocado salad, not realizing that you know we'd be hungry later. So um, we had plans to go to Moxie's and then to go to karaoke, but. I dropped the ball on karaoke and didn't realize that it was um, at a club and we were ready to go home and like get out of our clothes <laughs> into something comfier. So yeah, that's what we did. Came home um, and just chilled and watched Selling Tampa. So this morning, it's New Year's Eve, by the way, I didn't say that. It's December 31st. So I've been trying to convince my cousin to move here since I got here okay but I've been trying to convince her to move down here well she has decided that she's coming and funny enough my two cousins girlfriends are moving down here next week so it's supposed to be a family up there <laughs> okay in the Dallas area Dallas Fort Worth area so I should have my kettle today I got a text from FedEx this morning that it was out for delivery so I should have my kettle today so we're drinking mimosas we're about to make a breakfast she's never had avocado toast before so I'm gonna make that for her I like eggs I've never seen you know the only person I know who makes bacon in the stove is Aunt Lulu oh yeah you girl you know I'm real <laughs> the only person I know is her and she makes it so good. Oh my God, they made the best. Her and Uncle Tex made the best breakfast. Yeah. Ooh, let, don't even get me started on his chili. And see, I never had it, because you know I hate chili, so. Oh, girl. I never had it. I'm not a big chili fan. When y'all were talking about it in the group text, I was like, oh, I can't relate. I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't eat it. You might like white chicken chili. My mom keeps trying to tell me I would like it, but I don't like beans. Oh. And that's the thing. I when Cynthia showed me how to make her baked beans when I was in high school, I became like addicted, and mm -hmm. I would make it every Sunday in college. Mm -hmm. I'll make Sunday dinner, and I would make those baked beans every Sunday for two years. Mm -hmm. And so I just got burnt out on beans. So mm -hmm. now, because I used to love baked beans, and now I oh yeah, I love her baked beans. Yeah, I would literally like religiously make them every yeah. Sunday for me and. And so it just, I don't eat it anymore. I can't yeah. stand beans. I, I only like beans specifically for white chicken chili, red beans and rice. And you know what's crazy? I had red beans and rice on accident from Popeye's once and it wasn't bad. Yeah, I did. That was my favorite red beans. <laughs> because I don't like, I like red beans that are kind of, I like them soft. Yeah. I like, I don't like them to look like red it beans, beans and, and rice. rice. I, <laughs> I need it to look like they're cohesive. Yes, I need like the sausages. Red and the, beans you know, and rice. Right. I hate peas. I, don't I hate peas. Girl, green peas are the nastiest. They scare food. me. They do because they have, what is their purpose? Like, who eats them with mashed potatoes? Meatloaf, okay? And see, well, I have. love meatloaf, so it's like, don't screw it up with peas. I yeah. hate peas more than anything. Yeah, and see, I only like the meatloaf that Candy makes because oh, I've never it's had not, hers. I don't like the tomato, I don't like that Oh, type okay. Of see, she yeah. She like individual little Oh, that's little cute. Little for like rosemary, it's really good. Oh, I gotta come to Cogsville so I can get it. My mom yes. makes... I suck at making meatloaf, but my mom makes the meatloaf with the ketchup and stuff on the mm -hmm. on the top or whatever. But I saw on TikTok, because y'all know I'm addicted to TikTok now. I saw on TikTok that this person made their tomato sauce like from scratch. I love old time pottery. Yeah. <laughs> it is an unhealthy obsession. Yeah. And that's where I got my really nice wine glasses from that I have broken. Oh, I will give you the tea on these. Give me a second. But my ones that are in there, I got those from old time pottery for a dollar. Um, I got my. I have some like this from Dollar Tree. That's that's where these are from. Yeah, these are like from Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree. These are not champagne flutes. These are vases, flower vases. Yeah, my mama bought me like eight of them. I bought eight too. <laughs> See, we're, we're the same person. Um, but yeah, I I needed new. I don't have champagne flutes, and I was like, let me get these 
Child, so good. Right. Love them. They were a dollar. See, pays to have cousins. When I was growing up, I thought everybody used to have 500 cousins like we did. I didn't think. And then when I got to college, <laughs> me and Rose talk about this all the time. When I got to college, she was telling me this story about this girl. And she was like, she was mad at her about something. But she was telling me, she was like, she's my third cousin. And I was like, oh, we all, so y'all cousins. And she was like, no, not really. Like, we're third cousins. And I was like. Well, in my family, everybody my cousins, so uh, it don't matter. We third cousins. cousins on one side. Okay, so I'll give you the. I'll go ahead and tell you. So, yeah, my mom, which you guys see on the vlog all the time, my mom and her dad are brother and sister, exactly two years apart, just like her and I are. She, he's older, and she's older than me. So literally, we're the replicas of our parents. My dad and her mom are first cousins. Okay, got it on my dad's dad's side. Cause you guys, I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but my grandparents both got remarried on my dad's side. So on my grandpa, my my granddaddy, I've never called him grandpa in my life. I don't know why I just said that. My granddaddy is my granddaddy and her grandma are brother and sister. Okay, keep it up. Probably not. So. We got the lay of the land. My mom and her dad are from Knoxville. My dad, sometimes it feels like he's a nomad because he's moved so many times, but they're from West Tennessee, right outside of Memphis. So sometimes when you know your daddy or young dog comes on, I do morph into a Memphian, okay? And so my uncle, which is her dad and her mom got married and my mom and my oldest sister actually used to live with them, like they all lived together. And her mom would take my mom back to West Tennessee to just like hang out, just like go see the family or whatever. You know, like your friends when you meet, you know, sometimes you go back home with them, whatever. That's literally how it was. And um, my granddad, before my mom married his son, my granddaddy was obsessed with my mom. Kind of like how I was the favorite. He was obsessed with my mom too. Like, did you know that my granddaddy bought that Ranger because I was, my mom was pregnant with me? Or he was so excited that he was getting a granddaughter that he bought that Wrangler or that Ranger for me, basically. And now the Ranger's at my dad's house. Okay, so back to the story. <laughs> so my aunt, which is her mom, used to take my mom down to the country all the time to see my granddaddy, to see her mom, all this stuff, hang out with the family. So my mom is very well loved on my dad's side of the family too. So my mom met my granddaddy before obviously he was my granddaddy because i was born yet so my mom met my granddaddy and he used to tell her all the time you know you'd be good for my son yada 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 so then my mom and my dad met they dated for a year got married my parents will have been married for 31 years in april and every year my dad says well i guess she's letting me renew my contract <laughs> <laughs> my parents got married and then i was born in 1995 what year were you born? 93. She was born in 93. I was born in 95. We also both have older siblings, too, who also are just as close as we are because they're also around the same age. But her parents got divorced in 98, right? So my aunt and uncle, her parents are my aunt, uncle, and they're my cousins, right? But I never knew them to be my cousins. They were always my aunt and uncle because that's always how it's been. And regardless of if her parents got divorced or not, her dad would always be my uncle because he's my mom's sister. I mean, he's my mom's brother. So they got divorced and they've always just been my aunt uncle. Well, I am a part of a blended family. So one of my siblings is only my dad's daughter. It's not my mom's daughter. And her, my cousin's parents are quite literally only her cousins. But, and then I have another sibling who's only my mom's daughter and my aunt and uncle are quite literally only her aunt and uncle. How crazy is that? And then there's me, where they're both for me. Her and her brother are my only cousins that like can relate to having a whole bunch of people around just all the time. Cause my mom's one of eight and our grandparents are one of 12. So there's a lot of us. And then my mom and her dad are also like best friends they talk every day first thing in the morning 
Which I don't understand why your dad is up so early every day when he has nothing to do. <laughs> My mom gets up every day at four because she can't sleep. And the first person she talks to is not even my dad sometimes. It's my uncle. <laughs> you know what? Older people just get, get up. Way yeah. Older. Even with older people, I realize. <laughs> they just be up. Like by 6 30, the whole house. It's, so yeah. Okay, so we made breakfast. She made scrambled eggs the way I love them with peppers and onions. And we made, she made bacon. And then I made avocado toast. And it's the first time she's ever had avocado toast. So I'm waiting on her true reaction. Okay. How do you like it? I want to put a fried egg on top of this. Yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. Let me tell you something. That's good. You ain't going to know I know how to cook until you know I know how to cook. Okay. That's right for you. People be trying to play me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's been a little while. We ate breakfast. We've been chilling. Betty White died. We won't talk about it. We had a whole praise and worship <laughs> because Betty died. Like, it was, we was down bad in my room for a minute. Like, but... My tea kettle came from Walmart, so I'm gonna unbox that. Tea kettle that I got is the, um, it's from the brand Beautiful. It's Drew Barrymore's brand at Walmart. And I love shopping at Walmart online. Like, not a big fan to go in Walmart, but shopping online at Walmart, they got the goods. This year, it is, it is the, um, what is it? The programmable touch, uh, where is it? Oh, programmable temperature kettle with touch activated display. Make something beautiful is what it says. And I'll leave the link to this, the page on Instagram. I mean, the page on uh, Walmart for you guys because it took me a minute to find it even though I knew it was there. And she has other stuff too. I've really been wanting an electric tea kettle because... When I need it to like clean up or when my mom's here and she uses it, my mom doesn't make coffee in my Keurig or anybody else for that matter. I need something that's like right, right in that moment, you know? How sleek is this? Like, so nice. It's big. This is how it opens and it's pretty deep inside and then it just... It's on. So I'm gonna plug it up so you guys can see it. Cause I wanna also I'm gonna take a picture. This was only thirty five dollars, so I was like, yes, I need it. It's affordable, and it's black. She they come in like four or five other colorways. This is black is obviously the one that I needed. Okay, it's been a while, but. We have woken up, we have gotten the spirit, we've taken shots, we are, I made taco stuffing. I don't really like tacos with the shell, so I make what goes inside of the tacos. My cousin made her guac. What is it, the bar taco guac? Bar taco if you're in Tennessee. Babaloo. You know what babaloo and bar taco is. And then we have peach margaritas. And we've just been hanging out and chilling to high. Yeah, we've just been hanging out chilling watching four minds um and now it's 10 55 we're trying our heart we are grandmas like the definition of grandmas so mm -hmm. we're trying our hardest to stay up till midnight to ring into the ring in the new year together it's the first time we've ever rang in the new year together i usually spend new years by myself this is the first time i've been with somebody in like three years so we didn't go out tonight because you know corona de la Chaise is doing her thing out in these streets and if you know anything about dallas you know she attacking in Dallas. So we decided to stay in and just hang out and be merry and eat and drink. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is early. It is January 2nd, I think. Sunday, we're getting ready to go to brunch with my cousin's friends. And I just worked out a little bit. It's freezing in Dallas. It's currently 18 degrees. Um, I'm gonna take you guys, I'm gonna catch you guys up when I get back to my room. Okay, so yesterday we, Went to the mall, did some shopping, um, and I will show you guys that later. 
I found some cute stuff at H&M so we did that and then I came we came back home and just chilled and my cousin went with her friends to the same place that we're going to today for brunch so I need to hop in the shower do my makeup and figure out what I'm gonna wear I have the base but I don't know the rest it's also 18 degrees in Dallas 18 degrees it went from we left the house yesterday afternoon like noon it was probably 73 when we left the house by the time it took me which is only 15 minutes to get from my house to north park center go into north park center we were probably there for an hour almost hour and a half came back outside it was 40 degrees then we drove to irving to the dillard's clearance store from the drive from north park center to irving we went inside the clearance and we were probably there for 45 minutes came back out it had gotten down to 20 degrees by the time we got home it was 23 degrees and this morning my mom called me this morning she was like it was five degrees when i woke up in nashville she was like that's how cold it was in dallas i thought i moved to a hot state not a polar vortex I'm the creme de la creme and it's filled to the ground But you should still go through I can't hold your hand this time I can't fold my plans this time I'm trying to hit a cut and get smoky Hit a couple spots where they know me I am not a- It's January 3rd, it's Monday um, I'm back working today so right now I've just been on a few meetings already I have more and I'm cleaning up my cousin has gone home cleaning up my apartment we kind of started some laundry and stuff already but cleaning up my apartment getting back into my routines and um, getting things done I made my vision board and I know I talked to you guys about that already but I made my vision board but I didn't journal after I did it and normally that's what I do especially to start the new year that's what I do and I completely forgot about it so I'm probably gonna do that a little bit later I have some laundry to fold I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna edit a video like I'm being really intentional today because I need to be back on the grind I have so many things I want to do, so many things I have written down. Um, I just know 2022 is going to be an amazing year. I posted it on my Instagram stories. I said, last year I found myself, I got myself together, and I was in my bag. This year, I'm not stepping out of it, okay? I'm going to be in my bag and I'm staying in it, and this is going to be my most successful year to date. Mark my words. So. Um, I'm going to do I know I talked about it in another video, but I can't remember which one But when we hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet um, Maybe I'll do like a nice candle and like a Sephora gift card or um, Like a fragrance or something like that. I'll figure it out put it down in the comments what you would like to get um, as a giveaway item and please make it unisex because well one I know I don't have just women following me and subscribe to me I know I do have some men that are subscribed to my channel and I'm an extremely inclusive human being so I want to make sure that everyone's taken care of regardless of um, who you are and so yeah put it in the comments what you would like to receive um, as a giveaway yeah I'm gonna clean my um, living room up right quick and I'm going to set you guys up so it can be like a montage you might think I'm crazy but I'm serious it's better you know now what I thought was happiness was only for dumb bliss you can take a bow
guys. So it's a little bit later. I just got back from the gym, had a good workout. This is like the first one that I've done in the week that I've been home that I didn't feel nauseous while I was doing it. So that's good. Got fully through it. And then I was walking on the treadmill, like doing my cardio at the end. And I just wasn't feeling it. Like my knee hurts her always and my shoulder was hurting and so I was like I'm just I don't need to do the cardio I lifted really good and so I'm just gonna go back upstairs so that's what I did I have some stuff in the washing machine that I need to put in the dryer and I kind of want to take a bath later tonight like I want to soak which is odd for me um because I don't like taking baths but I kind of want to soak tonight so I think that's what I'm going to do so what I'm about to do right now is change out of this I'm not really hungry so I don't need a snack or anything but change out of this and then I'm going to edit a video I think tomorrow I want to try to go to the gym at 6 in the a.m. Um, rather than during the day one because no one's usually there that early um, and there's people I don't I'll never understand this like why people choose to sit in the gym and like lollygag like there's always this one guy he's always like checking himself out when I'm in the gym and it's just anno it annoys me um, so I think I'm just gonna go early and get it over with um, so I can have productive day I don't have any meetings on my calendar as of right now I think that's gonna change though because I actually need to meet with somebody so as of right now only one tentative meeting maybe on my calendar tomorrow so I'll have all day to get as much as I can done um, so I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way in the morning so I I know this vlog has been kind of chaotic um, it was hard to um, vlog because um, a lot of the places we go to, like like the place that we went to for brunch yesterday, some places are weird. Like they don't want you to vlog in them. They don't want you to have your camera out or anything. Um, and then like I'm still getting used to it. And I have a pink phone case. So it's kind of obvious that I'm taking video or whatever. And so I just need to get over like the secondhand embarrassment. Because like I sure as shit don't have secondhand embarrassment with taking pictures in public especially not with my tripod like I do not care what people stare at me but like when it comes to videoing for some reason I just get so uncomfortable so the vlog is a little touch and go there um and I just haven't seen my cousin I think it's the first time I've seen her in since I moved yeah I think this is the first time I've seen her since I moved so I just wanted to be with her and like catch up and stuff and then her friends were here and I just like I don't like shoving a camera in people's faces, especially when like we're trying to, you know, fellowship and congregate. So it's a little spotty, but it's there. Um, I just, this morning, I can say I have an accomplishment. This morning, I finished out my last sponsorship of 2021. So I am open for business. If anyone, any brands want to sponsor me, want to work together, collab, whatever, email is in the description. Um, so yeah, didn't have to go to Florida this week, which was great. So I'm able to get a lot done. So um, I may not vlog this coming week so I can get as much content out and done as possible. I've been really active on TikTok. So um, just getting out as much stuff as I can. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't think my bath will be anything cute to vlog. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. As always, tell your friend, tell their friend, tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I almost forgot. And TikTok, they're always going to be on the screen and in the description box. Um, please be sure to look for any discount codes or anything like that that I've mentioned in the description box. Or feel free to DM me on Instagram. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, I'll catch you guys on my next one. Peace. Oh